Stefan in the Netherlands writes to me, Hey Paul, last few months I've noticed when I see higher end speakers in pictures or videos that they're facing straight to the wall instead of tilted towards the listener. What are the benefits of this compared to tilting the speaker towards the listener? I've played a lot with this at home and I prefer the sound when my speakers are tilted to me. And by tilted, Stefan means what we would normally call toed in to where the tweeter is pointing at the listener as opposed to straight on. So much of that depends on the actual speakers themselves. Some speakers, oh gosh, well I'm not going to, oh that's right, people get all upset when I name names. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Some brands of speakers are designed to be very specific on axis. So what does that mean? Uh, so you, if you, can you see this microphone here? This microphone is pointing on axis, straight at the speaker. And, and, and by the way, this, this speaker, uh, we, we took some of the older prototypes of the FR30 that never made it, and we're rejiggering them to work at Octave Studios. So this is, uh, and Chris is doing some measurements to make sure they're as flat as possible. So on axis means that you're pointed right at the speaker, okay? So some of these brands design their speakers to be extremely flat on axis. And then as you get off axis, away from them, they start to taper off or rise up or whatever they're going to do, but they're not as flat and, and nice on axis, uh, off axis as they are on axis. So in that kind of speaker, you'll want to tow them in because that's where you're going to get the flattest response, the best that the designer had intended you to get. Or, for instance, maybe near field. The closer you are to the speakers, the more you're going to want to tow them in, right? But if you're a reasonable distance away, there are many kinds of speakers that you'd want to tow in. And how do you know that? Well, you can you can be our Chris Brunhaver, our speaker designer, and, and know all that stuff and just look at a graph. He can tell you, oh, yeah, yeah, this. But generally, you're just going to have to listen or, or use the reputation of the speaker. Our speakers, the FR30s, of which this, again, an old prototype, don't get all jigged out because what happened to the FR30s? <laughs> Ours are very smooth, <clears throat> about, oh, maybe 30 degrees off in a very wide arc. So if you point them straight ahead or just a slight amount of toe in, which is what we recommend, you'll get the same response at your ear that you would if you pointed them in. And we're generalizing here, please, okay? I'm just trying to make a generalization here. The difference, though, in imaging is rather huge. On a speaker with great off-axis response, like our FR30s, if you point them straight ahead and just a little bit towed in, what that does is it allows for a much wider soundstage. Now, all of a sudden, we've got wall-to-wall -wall sound, great depth, and as we tow them in, you're going to start truncating the width uh, and, and depth will be okay, but you'll start truncating the width of the soundstage to where it is trapped between the two speakers. So you'll notice on, on some very famous brands, when you go to a show, you'll see that they're very widely spaced apart and they're towed in. Um, one of my favorite brands does that. Now, they sound terrific within the middle between the two speakers. It, there's this great disappearing act that they do. But there's nothing to the right and there's nothing to the left beyond the speaker. And that's important to us. A proper soundstage shouldn't appear between the two speakers. It should make it so the speakers disappear altogether. And you do that by not towing them in so much. But some speakers require that and that's just, you know, that's okay. What is it? Different strokes for different folks. But for our speakers and for many speakers, a great deal of toe-in is not desired, if that's a good way to put it. All right. Thanks for the question. Hope that helped. 
I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye.